Hi everyone, good morning. So you've made that decision to move. Whether you're relocating, moving on up, or downsizing, it's a big decision. So now you need to move on to the next step, which is preparing your home for sale. And that's why I'm on today. My name is Jennifer Lockwood. I'm a local realtor here in Fairfield, Connecticut. And I wanna share with you today five key tips I give my clients to prepare your home for sale. That first impression is the most important when a buyer is coming to your home. You have one chance for a first impression and typically it's only eight seconds. So it's really important to show your home in the best light possible. Whether you're buying or selling, the home process is a very emotional one. And as realtors, we're very sensitive to it when we're working with our clients. It is important to understand that your home needs to be turned into a house for sale. So your home is the home you lived in, it speaks to you, it has your style, everything about it is you. And now you wanna sell this home. So to turn it into a house, you have to go through these five key steps and it's a process. And it's very hard to take the emotion out of it, but in order to sell your home at top dollar in the shortest amount of time, it's really important to show it in the best light. You're basically creating a, a mood or an illusion. So when people walk in, they want it to feel warm and light and bright and clean and all of those really good feelings. So there are five key steps to get to that point for when someone walks in. And my motto always is less is more. The less you have in the house, the bigger it feels. So in relation to creating an ambiance or a mood, think about when you go shopping in certain stores, like the Apple store or Crate and Barrel. They're bright, they're light, they're welcoming, and you almost wanna buy everything in the store. You feel good walking in those stores. And that's the same feeling you wanna create when someone is walking through your home. So the first step is to declutter and depersonalize. Uh, it seems pretty basic, so now's the time to go through your house, see what you wanna keep, what you wanna sell, what you wanna give away, less is more. Just go through that process in every single room. Home. And if you're living in your home while you're selling your house, anything that is not necessary, you should pack away. One of the biggest challenges for a lot of my clients is depersonalizing. Take down all your photos, anything that's per personal mementos, and just pack them away for later. A lot of times when a buyer goes through a home and there's photos up or some personal items, they get distracted by it. They almost feel like they're intruding. So you want them to feel like this is a home they can live in. You want them to feel like they can live in this space and put their own furniture and see how they would, would use the space for themselves. Key tip number two, clean. And I mean clean. Clean the kitchens, the bathrooms, really scrub them up. You want them to look great when people walk through your house. Clean your floors, your wall plates, you know, anything there'd be fingerprints. And it's really important to clean your windows inside and out. When you clean the outside of your windows, it brings in 30% more light. And you want light and brightness and that really good feeling when they walk in. So it's really important to do that. Also related to cleaning is scent. Every house has a scent. We, I don't know the scent of my own house. I actually have to ask, ask other people sometimes. But one time I remember my son was hanging out with all his friends. They were in middle school and they just decided that they were gonna talk about what everybody's house smelled like. Um, and it's funny because one boy, they said his house smelled like laundry detergent. Well, that's because when you walked into his house, you walked right through the mudroom, which had the, the washer dryer there. So his house to all of them smelled like laundry detergent. Another house, they said smelled like cat because right when you walk in the door, the kitty litter is there. So be very aware when someone's walking through your house, what the scents are. And um, when you put air fresheners, a lot of times people feel like that's masking it and candles. So uh, another really good tip is just open your windows, let the fresh air in or use a diffuser or one of those air purifiers. It really makes a big difference. I've even had some clients bake cookies or warm up an apple pie before people come to an open house or a showing. I know that's a lot to ask, but it's just another idea of someone feeling like they're coming home. Key tip number three, fix maintenance items. So walk through your house, walk through every room, look at your walls. Do you have nicks on the walls? Does it need a little touch up paint? Look at your baseboard, your wall plates, making sure everything's working, hinges, doorknobs, little things like that, because whatever you see, the buyer's gonna see and they start ticking in their head and adding it up. So it's much better if you do it before they get there. And it presents so much better because the buyer will feel like this is a well cared for home. The fourth key tip, curb appeal. I think it's one of the most important because that is your eight seconds when they're walking out of the car and up to your house. Look at your walkway, make sure everything's weeded, the grass is cut, maybe add some mulch, 
maybe even a nice plant or a fern at the front doorway. And as you're walking up your front step, look at your house itself. Maybe it needs a power washing to get some mold off, or maybe there's some rot that needs fixing. Just know that they're gonna walk not only to the front of your house, but if they're touring your whole house, they're gonna walk around your whole house as well. So just take an inventory and look at the exterior of your home and what it looks like and see if you, there's anything you can do to make it look just a little bit better. And the front door is important as well. It might just need a quick coat of paint. It'll just brighten it up and make it pop. So the last and really important key step is all about the light. And paint, paint, paint. It's the biggest bang for your buck. You have that eight seconds when someone's walking into your house and that first impression. You want it to feel light like I've been talking about through this whole video. It's all about neutralizing the space. Even if you have a small budget, so just paint the first few rooms when they walk in the house. It'll make the biggest difference and the biggest effect on your buyer. So after you paint, it will brighten up a room and you've cleaned your windows. But if it still feels a little dark to you, add more lighting, add more standing lamps, change your light bulbs, put them to a higher wattage. And another issue related to light has to do with your curtains. And again, it has to do with personal taste. What I think is great in my house and my style is not the same as some of my friends and my family for sure. So it's best to take it down because you don't wanna bring anything in there that's gonna distract your buyer. I always say, take them down, less is more, and it also brings in much more light into your home. Whenever you have a showing, always keep your lights on. You want the house to feel bright. So as a realtor assisting in helping you sell your home, your goal is our goal. So we give you all this advice in order for you to get top dollar in the lowest amount of time. We want you to present your house in the best way possible. I hope you found this video helpful. Give me a thumbs up by clicking the like button below, or you can even leave me a comment. I'd be happy to reply. Good luck on your buying or selling experience. And if you need any assistance, click my link below. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time.